we'll start off with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, um, we'll do roll call. Um, Alderperson Decker? Here. Alderperson Feldy? Here. Alderperson Ackley? Here. Alderperson Donahue? Here. All right, we have a quorum. Everyone is here. All right, uh, moving along. Um, we'll approve the minutes from our April 29th meeting. Is there such motion to approve? Motion to approve. There's been a motion by Alder Decker. Is there a second? Second. There's Our, second by Alderperson Feldy. Any discussion on the minutes from our previous meeting? Seeing none, all those in favor of approving the minutes, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. Those minutes are approved. All right, 3.1, General Ordinance Number 4, 2021, a direct referral. An ordinance amending various sections to the municipal code so as to update them to conform with the state statutes and to temporarily reduce fees for various licenses related to serving or fermented malt beverages and intoxicating liquors to the minimum required by state statute and temporary waiving fees for sidewalk cafes. All reductions in fees to be applicable for the licensing year that includes July 1st, 2020. Um, who wants to, Chuck, you wanna kind of give a, a brief statement to start this one off? Yeah, just uh, briefly, there are seven sections. Uh, there are seven sections to the uh, ordinance. Um, is it on? Yeah, okay. The first uh, reduces the fee for a Class B beer license from $100 to $10. Uh, for this current uh, license year. It also eliminates proration then for the year since prorating $10 is not really worth it. Um, section two adds some caveats to limitations on class B premises uh, that have been added to the state statutes recently, uh, basically some additional exceptions um, there. Uh, section three eliminates the program that allows a grant to mitigate the impact of the fee for reserve license applications. That program is no longer allowed in Wisconsin and we never eliminated it out of our code. So this does that. Uh, section four reduces the fee for a class B liquor license from $500 to $50, which is the minimum uh, for this current license year. Uh, we keep the proration in effect uh, because it's required. Uh, section five reduces the fee for a class C wine license from $100 to $10 for the current license year, uh, eliminates proration uh, for this year only, just as we did with the Class B. Section six adds two newly created statutory exceptions to the underage on premises rule. Uh, they keep adding things, so we gotta keep adding them, and now is as good a time as any to do that. Section seven eliminates the fee for a sidewalk cafe permit for this year. There's no minimum, it's our own uh, fee, so it just simply eliminates the fee for this year. Um, I did note um, in my um, notes to you that uh, these changes do, uh, are probably going to result, if you approve them, would result in the refund, in the refund of a good number of fees that have already been paid. Uh, I, Meredith or Julie can probably tell you a little bit more about the impact of that. Uh, it would also decrease revenues to the clerk's office, um, obviously. Uh, and then the other issue that's come up is that a number of applicants for uh, the small business grant program that uh, Chad's department is running, um, that new program, uh, a lot of those folks have requested funds through that program to pay those fees. So there's a little bit of a uh, cross-pollination going on there. Now, I don't think we granted, I don't think the ones that we granted so far actually included those fees. So, um, hmm? One did, so we, we may have to, but have we paid that person out yet? No. Okay. Okay, so we, we may have to change the check or ask them for a refund or something, but. Okay. Um, I'm sure a lot of folks have questions. Meredith, do you wanna speak on this a little bit? I guess um, just in terms of the, the impact that this would have on your, your budget, and I know we're going into um, presidential election year and just curious to kind of know what kind of the numbers and what the revenues would look like um, 
and then if you could speak on the, um, uh, the refunds and what that would look like and what that process would be. How many pay, how many people have paid in full? Not many. Uh, the refunds we. When we sent out the applications, we encouraged them to pay the 27, and that's not refundable okay. um, because that's the publication fee and the background check. So that $27 would be theirs to uh, renew the license as well. Um, if you there's 112 licenses that are the Class B and the Class C, so that's $600. So if you reduce those to 60. That's the $540 that you would um, reduce our revenues for 112 of them. And then for the Class B beer, that cuts that revenue about 2100 So about 60000 Any questions for Meredith at all from anyone? Meredith, is this Barb Feldy? Is this running in line with what other municipalities are doing with their licenses because of the um, the establishments being closed for you know weeks now? I have not heard of other municipalities that are cutting the complete fees. Chuck, have you heard? I, I have heard of some that have. Some, okay. Um, and some who have chosen not to. Okay. So it's kind of a balance. Have they either done all or nothing or parts or? I, that I don't know. I know there are a few municipalities that did cut them down to the minimum. Um, I know that because there was some discussion among the um, the municipal attorneys in the state about this, uh, and you know the discussion was, well, what's the minimum? What's the maximum? And can you go anywhere in between? And of course you can. So, but what the cities decided to do in those cases, I don't know. Yeah, I, I see. These are the municipalities that either lowered or eliminated the licensing fees. Um, Two Rivers, Town of Phillips, City of Green Bay, De Pere, Howard, La Crosse, Delvin, Little Chute, Reedsburg, Milwaukee, South Milwaukee, Superior, Altoona, Mondovi, New Holstein, Muskego. Ryan, could you speak into your microphone a little louder? Sorry. Um, did you want me to repeat? I just listed some cities off. Okay, no, it's fine. Okay. Do you want me to repeat them or are you good? No, no, no. Okay. My question is, um, could we uh, write this so that a business would need to request the reduction with the thought that not everyone, I mean, I know all businesses are hurting, but uh, there may be some who wouldn't request it. So we can't, um, we can't, uh, have a program where the fee is reduced where it doesn't apply to everyone in the class. What you can do is have a, a program, you know, a basically a program like Chad already has where people can apply um, to get their, to, you know, to get funds to pay the fee. Um, so in, in essence, the fee would stay at the, at where it is and you know the the city program would would pay the fee the issue of course is you know the chad's program you know many of the bars would qualify for that but not all of them would okay is chad in the room he is okay. you're being chad I'm, I'm just interested i know that the grant the small business grant program has been very popular um, do you have any money left Yes, we, um, well, we awarded two applications last week. We're meeting tomorrow and going to be taking up another eight um, applications. So when I totaled it up, we've spent about 100000 of the 420000 that's available. So if there is business owners, bar owners out there that are struggling and haven't received any other funding programs, we definitely still have room to fund those programs those companies or businesses. So you've only gotten 10 applications? We've, or... we've gotten, we've gotten 20, 22 applications, but they're not all complete. So we're still working with the owners to get at complete applications. Could we provide something, the 61,000 is, is quite a hit. Could we provide something, huh, no, probably, I, 
my lips are moving while I'm thinking, but um, that if there were five or fewer employees rather than um, apply for the license proration or reduction, um, they would, um, we'd ask them to apply for the small business grant instead for that amount. Well, just yeah, just again, the, the issue, the issue is, is we can't reduce the fees for some and not others. So we either reduce the fees or we don't. Okay. If we, okay. if we don't, we can have programs that we would need to fund, like Chad's program. You can create other programs, I suppose, too. But then people would have to qualify under those programs. Got it. Got it. Is it possible to prorate, I'm sorry, is it possible to reduce, um, not to reduce it to the lowest amount possible, but uh, a middle ground? So yes. instead of losing 60000 we would lose 30000 Yeah, to, to maybe reduce it to halfway between the max and the minimum or something. Yeah, any number, with any number between the minimum and the maximum, which we currently charge the maximum, and this ordinance brings it to the minimum. So any number in between is acceptable. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, have, I'll have Chad go first, then Dean, then the mayor. Okay. My question is, um, so I understand the, the idea of trying to help these businesses. We also have a lot of contracting businesses in the city that pay licensing fees for contractor licensing um, for employee licensing and you know I, I'm we're hearing already from them well what about us because we're a business as well so I think as you deliberate over this you need to take into consideration that this affects other licensings that the city does as well and you know if I'm afraid if we just do it for one group we're gonna have other groups coming forward and saying well what about us so just a comment thanks Chad I appreciate that okay my question is for Chad, actually. <laughs> so don't, don't go ahead. That's why I was trying to catch you before. Uh, how many of those 20 are uh, taverns? Of those 20 that you have, are they are mostly taverns? Or? A lot of them were tab taverns. I don't want to say the number, but I would okay. say a good probably half of them were taverns. OK. OK. Mike? I guess in the calls and emails I received, uh, you know, I have a handful of people who were asking about a discount on a license for a bar. Uh, I know none of the, the bar owners would probably say no if we offered it, but I haven't gotten that big of a response that we should lower the license fees uh, from, you know, when you consider uh, we have over 100 uh, licenses that are out there. I really think that, you know, we've created a mentality, or the U.S. government has, with with the way they're dealing with the coronavirus that let's just give things back to people. And unfortunately, we don't have a treasury that can keep on printing money. We've got a limited amount of money and our clerk's budget has already been hit hard by the elections and it looks like it's gonna be hit hard again by some of the other elections uh, by changing their practices. And I really think we should concentrate on, uh, amongst the several of us, uh, we wanted to bring some life back to the downtown. And I think we should concentrate on the, uh, the premise rules uh, for uh, extension of premise so they can use a parking lot or other land that they own and extend their, their premises outside so they can still have uh, social distancing and accommodate more people. And then also reducing the sidewalk cafe permit these people are willing to put some money in to build these things so that people are gonna feel comfortable. Uh, you know, that's gonna take a little bit of an investment and I can see where we can roll down the prices on those to nothing and just give them basically uh, the, the, the permission to do that if they properly fill out their application and implement it. I think, uh, you know, what we're doing, if we do those two things, I think we're accomplishing a lot and we're, we're really giving up new revenue that we don't have right now. There's just a couple of merchants right now that have uh, uh, cafe licenses and if a lot of people start doing it, uh, we could develop a new source of revenue for the future if they like it and want to continue it. But I really think that we should 
eliminate the idea of reducing these fees on, uh, on the, uh, the different licenses that have been suggested in these documents and amend this, take those items out, and then approve the rest of them along with the extension of premise rules and the sidewalk cafe permits. And uh, you know, if you want to do a little bit, I could see giving them 20% off, but I really think we should just leave them where they are. And, uh, and if we want to roll out another program uh, to uh, help them out with uh, that for the ones that request it, that's another way to look at it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Any, any further dis questions from anybody? Um, Ryan? Yes, Mary Lynn? Um, so on Friday morning, um, some of us from the city and the Chamber of Commerce are hosting a virtual meeting for uh, business owners who uh, may be in the process of rethinking or uh, thinking about reopening uh, and restoring their business. Um, we're kind of excited about this opportunity to um, hear what business owners are thinking and wanting and how they're approaching, what their thoughts are on approaching reopening and so forth. Lowering license fees may be part of that, um, or it may not, based on what the mayor said. Um, but I think um, I think that the reduction of fees is um, at this particular point. It it might address one small part, but will lead to a, a fair reduction of income, and uh, may hamper our flexibility in providing relief in other areas to businesses. So I think. Um, well, I, I think it's an admirable idea. Um, it may, I think it's just too early. So the parts that do need to be, um, uh, and I don't, I've got too much on my screen here, but whatever sections of the proposed ordinance that are not monetarily um, impactful, I think we could go ahead and approve. Um, or we could just hold the whole resolution until we have a better sense from our business owners what they're thinking. And I would defer to Chuck as to maybe the best way to, to process this. Yeah, so depending on how you want to handle it, uh, Mayor Mike's suggestion would eliminate sections one, four, and five. Uh, if you also eliminate the, the reduction in the sidewalk cafe permit, that would also eliminate section seven. Um, but yeah, so that, that would be that would be how you might do that, is to, to move to amend to eliminate sections one, four, and five, and maybe seven. If, is, let me know, Chuck, if this would be possible. Could we? Sections, Chuck? Say that again? Is time of the essence with respect to the other sections, two, three, and six? No, we could, do, we could do that at any time. I think maybe just an easier way of handling all of this would be just a, a motion to hold, um, at least for at least for a couple of weeks, um, just to see what where we're at. Um, maybe uh, hold until mid June. I'm not sure the precise form of a motion to hold with a specific date. If I need to do that, Chuck, or if I can just no, I um, just ask. Yeah, you can do a motion to hold, and uh, Alderman Sorensen, as the chair of the committee, kind of controls the agenda and decides when it gets put back on. Well, so while I think it, is, it has some merit, I think it's just uh, premature, and therefore I move to hold uh, the resolution. All right, there's been a motion to hold. Is there a second? Second, Betty Ackley. All right, there's been a second by Alderperson Ackley. Um, any discussion, Mr. Mayor? Um, Alderperson Goldie. Oh, hang on, Barb. Mike's going to speak quick. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Chairman. Um, I really like the idea of approving what you can out of this and including six and seven in there because you're going to have merchants right now that want to get those extension of premise uh, things set up. They want to put tents in their uh, in their yards. They want to put parklets in, and and it'd be nice to know that there, we can give them those things without no fees. Otherwise, we're going to start saying, well, if you want to do this, this is what you have to pay. And again, we're trying to liven up downtown and other areas and allow these merchants 
merchants to spread their customers out a little bit more so that they can still uh, be successful in business. So I would really hope that you wouldn't hold this and you would eliminate one, uh, four, and five from this and amend it to pass the rest. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Barb? Um, my question is probably more for um, Chuck or Meredith. Um, are some of these licenses due by the end of June, and are we kind of crunching that deadline for them then, too? Yes. So the, we see more? the licenses all... Um, the licenses all run out June 30th, and um, they need to apply in sufficient time so that we can meet to approve them before then. Um, so, uh, so there is a time frame on that. Uh, Meredith did give them till May 15th uh, as, a, as a deadline to apply. I think we have a little bit of room beyond that. And then the Sidewalk Cafe permits, actually, that's uh, an April to April uh, year, although uh, I don't know how many people have applied for their sidewalk cafe permits yet for this year since it's been cold and people can't really gather. <laughs> so it would have to be on the council agenda on the 15th if you were going to change the fees because it would have to be paid for by the end of June to have their renewals by July 1st, if that makes sense. Thank you. Um, I, I do have a comment too. I, I'm going to vote against holding this. Um, I do agree with, with the mayor's statement as well. Um, I, I would, if, if we voted not to hold this, I would make another motion or recommend another motion um, to sh strike or either hold sections one, four, and five from this ordinance um, and then still pass sections two, three, six, and seven. Um, so I'll, I'll be voting against holding this. Well, I can withdraw my motion. I mean, if, if, if that is clear enough, um, I, um, I think it's a little precipitous, but, you know, but I, I, I withdraw my motion if the seconder is willing to withdraw as well. Good. I am willing to withdraw. Okay, thank you. Betty Ackley. Betty, uh, Mary Lynn has withdrawn her motion, um, and Betty has withdrawn her second. So we're still um, just in general discussion on this general ordinance. Okay. Um, well, I'll make a motion to uh, pass with sections one, four, and five so eliminated. We, we, need, we need to make a motion first to approve the ordinance, and then a second, and then we can make the amendments to that. So if you wanna. So, so was there already a motion to approve the ordinance? No. No, no. we just had a motion. So yeah, that. make a motion to approve the ordinance, and then we'll do an okay. amendment motion. Make a motion to approve the ordinance. There's been a motion. Is there a second? I'll, I'll second. Okay, Barb is seconded Barb that. Is and then and then the appropriate okay. motion would be to amend to strike sections one, four, okay. and five, if that's what you want to do. Okay. Uh, I would like to make a motion to uh, amend to, uh, to strike sections one, four, and five from the ordinance. All right. There's been an amendment made to strike sections one, four, second. and five, and there's been a second by Alderperson Donahue. Any discussion on the amendment that is being made? I guess my question is, we could always revisit these items. You, you later, can revisit the items. The issue will be just you know, the timing, of it, the timing of it all, and, yes. and they'll already have paid the fees. Okay. And I will, I'll just make my, comp my, my, my concern is, is where are we gonna find the money to fund Meredith's if we if we do this and I and that's that's my biggest concern her, her department can't take a sixty thousand dollar hit this year especially I can't take it take that anytime but I think this year would even be very imprudent for us to do that okay. so we're gonna make two motions here so we're gonna vote on the amendment first and then we'll vote on um, the general ordinance so um, all those in favor of amending the ordinance to strike sections one, four, and five, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. So those items have been amended and removed. So now we're back on the main motion as amended for sections two, three, six, and seven. Any discussion on the content that is still remaining in the general ordinance? Seeing none. 
All those in favor of approving the ordinance as amended, please state aye. 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 Any, anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That motion is approved. Okay. Thanks for folks for attending and commenting on that. Um, section uh, or item number 3.2, resolution number 1920-21, a resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a contract with Mike Canning Construction Incorporated and replace the roof at the Sheboygan Fire Department Station 2. Bernie, Chief. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. Uh, this, uh, on, on its surface, it sounds like we're gonna take off some shingles and nail on some shingles. It's quite a bit more involved than that. Uh, the, the project is to essentially take a flat roof, which is failing, and replace it with a pitched roof, uh, which will um, do many things for us, most of all, uh, take care of the failing elements uh, that are supporting the flat roof. Flat roofs generally are not a good answer in Wisconsin. Um, the, there's a couple of structures up on the roof, there's four actually, that provide uh, light into the, into the building uh, called clerestory windows. And those structures are actually constructed of concrete block and full depth face brick. Um, as a result, the weight of those on the wooden st structural members that support the roof, um, five years ago we, uh, we determined or through a, an engineer that did a, an inspection that the uh, number of those members were failing and that's how the project got going. Um, Project, um, as I said, it, it's been in the works for about five years. Uh, we, through a number of different um, issues that came up during that time with, with, with funding, it, it got put off a little bit. It's now time to, to get it taken care of. We put it out for bids, uh, received four bids. The lowest responsive bid was for Mike Koenig Construction for $315,500. We have $319,700 in the budget, so we are able to uh, proceed forward at this time and get it taken care of, and that should take care of the issue for at least 30 years, at which time we'll have to look at shingles, but I won't be here. <laughs> That's what you think, Bernie. <laughs> so, cool. Um, any questions for Bernie? The one comment, I, I like the idea of going from a flat roof to a yeah. slope. I, mean, it, uh, I deal with flat roofs all the time, and they are not conducive to this weather around here. Sounds good. Is there a second? There's been a motion to approve by older person Donahue. Is there a second? Second. Second. Second by, by Dean. Um, any further discussion or comments? Seeing none, all those in favor of approving the resolution, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That's approved. Thank you. Thank you. All right. 3.3 uh, RO number 4, 2021, submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30th, 2021. So we are requesting uh, that you hold the following licenses. Uh, these are all Class B liquor licenses, and we're asking that you hold the license of Applebee's, the Fountain Park Lodge, Harry's Diner, Harry's Prohibition Bistro, Il Retrovo, the Duke of Devon, the End Zone, and Trattoria St Stefano. All of those, there's just we, there's just some additional work that needs to be done on those. There's, I don't, I anticipate they will all be approved the next go around. Okay. Um, all the other licenses may be granted. All right. Is there such motion to approve the af uh, approve the licenses and hold the aforementioned uh, establishments? Don't move. There's been a motion by Alder Person Donahue and a second by Alder Person Feldy. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. Those licenses are approved and some are held. Uh, 3.4, RO number 5, 2021, submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30th, 2021 and June 30th, 2022. 
So most of the uh, licenses we're uh, suggesting that you grant. We are asking that uh, four licenses be held, and I'll give you the reasons for those uh, holds. Uh, we're, we're suggesting that you hold the new license application of Shelley A. Jeske. Uh, she's ineligible for the license, so we'll have to have, we'll, we'll work with her, and if we have to, we'll have a hearing. Uh, the other one is for Kevin C. Klein. He also is ineligible for the license, so we'll work with him and uh, uh, have a hearing if necessary. And then two renewals that we're asking to be have held, and those are just to, to finish background checks uh, that weren't able to get completed, and those are Richard J. Peterman and Glenn J. Wilkie. I anticipate those will be granted the next go-around. All right. Is there such motion to approve the licenses and hold the aforementioned individuals? There's been a motion by Alderperson Donahue. Second. Second by Alderperson Decker. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Oh. Mary Lynn? Just real quickly, what, are, what is the club de designation, uh, Chuck? So a club license is a license for that. It, it is literally that, a club. Um, and so they don't serve the general public, they only serve the members of the club. As a result, the fee is significantly lower and the amount of work that we have to do uh, in, the, in the background is less, but there are a few things that we do have to do. Thank you. All right, any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Any, anyone opposed, chair votes aye, that is approved. All right, our next meeting will be May 27th. Seeing that we've exhausted the agenda, is there such motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. There's been a motion by Alderperson Decker. Second. And a second by Alderperson Feldy. All those in favor of adjourning, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. We are adjourned at 432. Thank you, everybody. Aye.